is one topic that I do not want anybody to talk about because of this reason, and that's the DNA and water situation. The original comment, which pre predates uh, the video that she showed by a couple of months, shows and proves that I made it very clear that the hydrolysis reaction and a and dissolving are separate issues. The situation, uh, whether or not how something dissolves, right? Because with ionic and covalent compounds, they all break apart differently. So we thought at the time, I was, I knew that, well, let's just put it like this. I had an idea of how it was going to break down because I knew how co uh, ionic compounds break apart. They break apart by the individual sodium chloride. I wasn't 100% sure how the DNA was going to break down. I knew that it was going to break down some way, but I knew it was different than an hydrolysis reaction because hydrolysis reactions, they, they happen through a very specific way. Can you guys see this comment? Can you yeah. guys see this? This dates back a year ago. Well, when I'm talking about breaking down to its constituent parts, I am not referring to dissolving. But I will say DNA does break apart as well within water, just not like what I'm referring to. I'm talking about an hydrolysis reaction, which is different. But if you are just going to play semantics, technically you are going, uh, you are wrong because when something dissolves in water, it does come apart just in a specific way, depending on the compound. Ionic compounds break apart by the individual sodium chloride atoms coming apart in the water and the covalent compounds like DNA come apart, I suspect, by breaking down in the individual monomers that make it up. You see, look at all the language that's used use here. I knew, I had an idea of how the sodium chloride breaks apart in these different atoms, right? But when it comes to DNA, I wrote down, I suspect, by breaking down by the individual monomers that make it actually up. This was an incorrect statement that I actually made right here. But I had an idea, I understood, I knew that what it takes for actually DNA, <clears throat> what it meant for something to, to break down. Technically, in a semantic sense, uh, breaking apart in some sort of way applies to uh, something when it's actually dissolving. That's what I knew. That's what I understood. Um, four months ago, uh, three and a half months ago to four months ago, I actually made a series of different comments that actually uh, talk about how I basically am not holding that position anymore to where dissolving actually means where it's going to break down like this. Um, at least when it comes to DNA. All of this has to do with right here, what we're talking about has to do with how something dissolves. It doesn't discredit the point that I'm making at all in any single way about the hydrolysis reaction. The point is, is that the original claim about the hydrolysis reaction causing things to break down to their constituent parts is correct. Um, so just understand it like this. There are different reactions and different reactions that I'm referring to things are breaking apart in some sort of way. The DNA is going to come apart to the individual uh, clusters of DNA that uh, that are in the, uh, whatever sort of, um, um, you know, experiments, whatever. The sodium chloride atoms with the, the salts are going to, or any sort of ionic compound, they're going to come apart by the individual atoms. So things are coming apart in different ways. Um, none of this confusion over this particular issue over dissolving has any bearing whether, whatsoever on the um, on the original argument that I uh, pressed forward. This is really more so just a, a distraction and a side issue that she's actually using. So the dissolving everything, no matter what, at all is still being applied. That breaking apart has something to do with dissolving. That's the point all the way across the board. The only point of conf uh, of contention here is how DNA breaks apart. She's going back to the original points that I brought up, ignoring the fact that she was also incorrect because she denied that there was any breaking apart going on. And she's trying to use that to get away and try to confuse the issue so that she can try to get out of this fact that DNA does break apart in hydrolysis reaction, um, that the temperature is influencing how, how long DNA is going to last in the water. You can't just keep it at 25 degrees Celsius and expect it to last 31, 31 million years with increasing temperature because the bonds could break apart in a matter of a couple of uh, days, weeks, to possibly months. Um, it's too convenient for you to keep on bringing it up. You keep on ignoring that particular point or denying that particular point because you know it's inconvenient. So uh, the dissolving issue and the breaking down issue, they all still stay and remain synonymous. It's just what's basically happening right now is that when we, when we both realize that how D, uh, DNA breaks down when it's in water, when we both realize that both of our positions were incorrect, she's jumping back on the original position and ignoring the fact that um, 
that that was, uh, you know, already dealt with. So I hope that helps. There's actually a series of different comments that I actually need to show um, to confirm what I'm saying, guys. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that actually helps out, but uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If is something very specific with DNA in water under an hydrolysis reaction. You'll have basically the monosaccharides, they'll be, they'll be released, <laughs> or a complex of carbohydrates and the hydrogen, uh, hydrogen atom, and then you'll have the other where it will gain a hydroxyl group, an OH, and then it will split from the water molecule, right? So then what basically happens? What is happening with DNA in water? And a hydrolysis reaction can happen with a variety of different compounds without any sort of catalyst. Typically, inside of this cell, catalysts are involved. Now, don't avoid the question. We're talking about an hydrolysis reaction, which is obviously dealing with water, causing it to break apart or come loose or break apart in some sort of way. Hydrolysis reaction, that's what we're referring to. So we're obviously talking about DNA in water without a catalyst. So it is your contention that when DNA is placed into water, it, it comes no, no. apart and, the, and the, bonds, the bonds break, here's, up, break here's apart. Here's what we're going to do right now. You're going to answer my question. What is going on when something is going on in a hydrolysis reaction like DNA? What is going on there? I'll just I'll hit on it briefly so that we can just I'll leave it alone for now because he clearly doesn't know what he's talking about. Basically, after you have everything being ionized, and I just explained part of that process a little bit later, you'll have one part of some components of DNA actually gain two hydrogen atoms, and uh, you'll get uh, also a positive charge in some sort of way you'll, um, at the same time. There's too many of these people that are coming into these rooms and they're criticizing this DNA in water situation, and they don't even understand the original contentions. Even Fiona had to admit that DNA breaks down to its constituent parts under an hydrolysis reaction and that temperature will influence it. I can show screenshots of that confirming that. No educated person on this particular topic would say such ignorant uh, st a statement or remarks on this. DNA dissolving water. That was the main, the main point. It was uh, whether DNA could dissolve in water, right? No, the original argument was an hydrolysis reaction, basically, that it was going to break down to its constitu constituent parts. Um, under an hydrolysis reaction, the dissolving situation was a semantical issue because we were talking about breaking down with something that's dissolving. It's also breaking down like ionic compounds. They'll break apart by the ind individual sodium and chloride atoms, right? With um, DNA, when it's dissolving, it'll break down. When we're talking about dissolving, not an hydrolysis reaction, it'll break down to the individual clusters of DNA. So breaking apart is synonymous with dissolving. If you, uh, you open another tab and type in dissolve, what uh, the definition of dissolve, Below that, you'll see where it says, with reference to a solid becomes or causes to become incorporated into a liquid as to form a solution. Underneath it, you see that it's synonymous with what? To break down. You can see that, right, guys? Yep. Underneath number one. Yep. Synonymous. Synonymous with breakdown. If you look up degrade, you can see where it says at the bottom, two, number two, breakdown or deter deteriorate chemically. When we're talking about dissolve, this is a, a semantic issue and only a semantic issue as to whether or not when you're talking about these different sciences that breaking down in some way is actually applied. But when we're talking about a, the scientific issue, dissolving and hydrolysis reactions are different, but still breaking down is applied in some sort of way. But dissolving, something will break apart or come apart in some sort of way, but um, you know, with different compounds, they all happen differently. These different compounds, they come apart in different ways. Um, but with an hydrolysis reaction, it's coming down in a, in a very specific way where um, you know, the, the bonds are basically coming apart. So the original problem, the scientific problem, had to do with an hydrolysis reaction. This issue over so, dissolve was really just a situation over a semantic issue. So it's it your was, claim uh, that the bonds come apart? Is under a, uh, what are you referring to? You just said that the bonds come apart. Is that your claim? In DNA, uh, is, is put well, into, under into solution? Reaction, under an hydrolysis reaction, I would believe that that would actually happen. Is that what uh, happens when you put DNA under in water? Dude, if you stop interrupting me, I'm going to kick you. All right? When I'm talking about dissolving, that's obviously not the same thing. If you were in the Hangout actually earlier, I explained this. When something is dissolving, like DNA, it stays DNA. 
but it doesn't break apart into its little individual comp uh, component parts like an hydrolysis reaction. It's going to stay DNA. The individual cl uh, clusters are going to separate, break apart, and it's going to stay DNA. You're going to have individual clusters of the DNA. Well, I so don't it's mean not going to break apart. But it's not going to break apart by any individual bonds. An hydrolysis reaction is different. When you're trying to get on my case about DNA and water and what happens, and you don't even understand the differences between an hydrolysis reaction or dissolving. You're just repeating gossip from people that are less informed about this topic than you. The phosphor diester bond thing, I I'm going to save that for a little bit later because that's going to be included into my, um, my uh, response video. I'll hit on that briefly. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Four months ago, there was actually a comment made by me in which I explained that the, the, the situation with the phosphor diester bond um, I believe that dissolving what was basically going to happen when something was going to dissolve was that it was going to stay DNA, but it was either going to maybe uh, be removed in segments or possibly split down the middle in some way. That's basically what they're talking about. It doesn't touch on the issue because I still made it very clear that dissolving was a separate issue than um, – than, um, a hydrolysis reaction. They were not basically the same thing. Four months ago, myself and Fiona were actually in a hangout over this particular issue. Fiona denied altogether that when something dissolves in water, or uh, it uh, means that it's going to break down. I showed different definitions. We both showed different videos. It was very clear that it was going to um, that it was going to break down or break apart. If you watch the video, she actually was pretty much silent. She didn't know what to say. Um, and when you also watch the video, it very cl clearly talks about how DNA, when it breaks down, um, it also stays DNA, but it, um, it, uh, it's going to break down basically different than ionic or covalent compounds. And this was a couple of months ago. Um, just doing some studying in some books, I've come to the conclusion that it doesn't break down by the phosphodiester bond. Um, but yeah, again, this was actually something that was talked about four months ago. And that's not dealing with the hydrolysis reaction or the, um, or the, um, you know, the issue that I brought up from the beginning when I was talking about um, the hydrolysis reaction. Um, I need to get some of my those clips together so that we can talk about it. Um, but um, again, this is like a side issue; it's a separate issue. So we're both myself and Fiona. We were when we were talking about this DNA and water situation, we were both shown to be wrong. The difference is, is that I came out and admitted it and. Even though very clearly it was shown that she was wrong, she's pretty much stayed silent over the issue because she doesn't, you know, it's not good for her position. Um, but I actually have that video still, and I'm going to be using that possibly in, in uh, one of my future videos over this issue. But um, again, I have to take this video and put it together perfectly and clearly so that people understand the timeline, what actually happened. Originally, I was the one talking about a hydrolysis reaction, making it very clear that the hydrolysis reaction is separate from dissolving. They are not the same thing. And that um, when it's breaking down to its constituent parts and coming apart from each of the um, um, bonds, that's separate from a dissolving. Because actually, when I was talking about dissolving, I made it very clear that it was actually going to stay DNA. Just it was going to come apart in a different way because when you actually look at it and you pay attention to um, the, the context of what was being talked about, very clearly I think that it was understood that because if you look at ionic uh, or ionic compounds compared to covalent compounds, they break. They both when they go into dissolving, they're breaking apart in some sort of way, right? The sh the um, sugar or uh, the sh the excuse me, the DNA, for example, when it breaks apart, it'll break apart into the individual clusters of DNA that makes it up. But the um, ionic compounds, when it breaks apart, it's going to actually split apart by the individual sodium chloride atoms, right? So there was some confusion over whether or not it's going to break apart the same way. But um, I think she's just trying to conflate that and try to make it sound like, well, wait a minute, that's basically the same way that an hydrolysis reaction is going to happen. But... Um, well, we're just gonna have to wait to the video so that we can, um, so that I can show you guys, because I got to walk through this through a dip, through a, a whole year and a half over this particular issue so that we can talk over it. So I think that me just talking about it right now from off the top of my head, I think that there, there might it might not come off um, the way that it should. <laughs> Turn back, turn back.
Turbine, 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 turbine.